Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tomogami and today we are back for another statue tutorial. Again, today continue with the theme of the horror characters, we are doing Jason Voorhees. So you guys have been requesting this for a really, really long time, and I'm going to be doing a bunch more horror characters. I know it's not really the horror character kind of uh, point of the year, that's more October time, uh, but I thought I'd get out because... To be honest, I've had these designs stockpiled for a while, and I didn't really know what to do, and the Pennywise statue did really, really well. You guys really loved that, and I saw a lot of people asking for more horror characters, so uh, that's what I was thinking here. So we have Jason Voorhees, and of course, in the very near future, we'll have some more people such as Michael Myers and also Chucky. So, anyways, this statue was designed by Kite Man, or Diamond, and it's a very, very complicated statue, as you can see by the amount of blocks on the screen right now. It's a really, really detailed statue, and this is a simplified version. I've simplified it a bit, because it was even more complicated before, um, and it's still really complicated, so uh, let's put it like that. So, anyways, <laughs> without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So the blocks are as following. You'll need black terracotta, grey terracotta, brown terracotta, cyan terracotta, grey concrete, stone, black wool, black concrete, grey wool, Oak planks, spruce planks, spruce wood stairs, dark prismarine, green terracotta, green wool, red terracotta, red wool, smooth sandstone, birch planks, jungle planks, dark oak planks, block of coal, white wool, sandstone stairs, sandstone slab, uh, stone brick stairs, I was about to say sandstone again, stone brick stairs, that's the one, stone brick slab, never brick, and buttons of the stone variety. So again, if you want to pause here, grab them blocks in your inventory, that would be great, and we can get straight into building. Now again, I do want to say this is a relatively, <laughs> well I say relatively, it's a very detailed statue, and please do take your time when building it. What I'm going to do is after every single layer, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause, please do take full advantage of that. Pause the video whenever you feel is necessary, it will help me, it will help you, it will also help me, because if you find it easier, then uh, it means that you're probably going to watch more videos. So yeah, it helps both of us if you just take your time, chill out, and build at your own pace. Apart from that, let's go. So we're going to start off by building the legs. The legs, just like normal, are 12 by 8, so 12 tall and 8 wide, and we're going to build up layer by layer, left to right. So we're going to start off on our first layer by placing three grey terracotta, two black terracotta, and three grey terracotta. So that's layer number one. Layer number two is three brown terracotta, two black terracotta, and three brown terracotta. So right now, that's the first two layers. The third layer is the exact same as the second, so that's three brown, two black, and three brown. And once you've got the first three layers, what we're going to go ahead and do is add a little 3D effect, so we're starting off fast, by extending the first two layers forwards one. So what I mean by that is we're going to ignore this black part in the middle, we're just going for the side parts. So on the left side, we're going to place three grey terracotta in front of the already existent three terracotta. We're going to leave a two block gap and place three more. Then on top of that, for the second layer, we're going to place three brown, leave a two block gap, and three brown. So that is the first three layers. And as you can see, once you've done that, that is the 3D effect complete. It's just a simple little addition to make it so that it's kind of like shoes, uh, like a feet kind of pattern. So yeah, that's the first three layers. Now, that's the feet done. What we're going to do now is start working our way onto the legs. So, for the legs, which is the fourth layer starting off, we're going to place three cyan terracotta, two grey concrete, and three cyan terracotta. So again, that is the fourth layer. The fifth layer is three stone, two grey concrete, three stone, and that is the fifth layer. And the sixth layer is the exact same as the fourth, so we're going to place three cyan, two grey, three cyan. So that's the first six layers, already halfway there. The seventh layer is the exact same as the fifth, so we're going to do three stone, two grey, three stone. So again, it's starting off kind of simple. The next layer, which is the eighth layer, is as following. We're going to place two grey terracotta, one stone, two grey concrete, and three stone. Again, just backing up so you can see. That is the eighth layer. The ninth layer is as following. One stone, one brown terracotta, one stone, two grey concrete, and three stone. And again, that is our ninth layer. 
For our 10th player, we're going to place 3 stone, 2 grey concrete, and 3 stone. Once again, that is the 10th player, and that's 3 stone, 2 grey concrete, and 3 stone. The 11th player, the second to last layer for now, is going to be 2 stone, 1 sand terracotta, 2 grey concrete, 1 sand terracotta, 1 grey terracotta, and 1 stone. So that's the 11th layer, second to last layer. And the final layer, which is of course the 12th layer, is going to be 1 brown terracotta, 5 stone, 1 grey terracotta, and 1 brown. And once you've done that, that is a 12 by 8. More importantly, that is the front side of the legs complete. So you can see, it's a bit of a random pattern, and that's kind of what makes it a bit difficult, because it's difficult for me to explain, and therefore it's difficult for you to interpret. But it's kind of just keeping with the theme, because if you look at Jason Voorhees, his character model in the films and also in games, it's very like... Uh, marshy colours with lots of like mud and dirt all over them. So that's what the random patches are for. It kind of helps to add to that theme. And if we made it really clean and simple, it just wouldn't really do it justice. So that's kind of the point we're going with here. So again, that is the front side of the legs. That is 12 by 8. If you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. But without further ado, let's move on to the upper body. So the upper body, just like the legs, is also a 12 by 8. And again, does also have some 3D effects. We'll worry about that later on. First off, we're going to start by placing our first layer. So again, this is the 13th layer of the build, but it's the first layer of the body. So I'm going to refer to it as the first layer. So the first layer is one grey, one brown, four grey concrete, one brown, and one grey terracotta. So again, the first layer of the body is as following. One grey terracotta, one brown terracotta, four grey concrete, one brown terracotta, and one grey terracotta. Now, once you've done that, what we're going to do is mark out the hands. Again, this is kind of like off task um but we're going to mark it out because it means later on we can just come back and build the arms we don't have to worry about counting so on the left side we're going to extend one block over to the left using black concrete and then free black wall if you don't want to use black wall because on console it looks really really bad for some reason like they've made the texture really like obviously it, it kind of has like a navy tint to it in some ways um if you don't want to use that feel free to use black uh concrete for all of it and just keep it nice and simple now on the other side, we're going to do the exact same. So you place one black concrete and three black wall. Again, if you want to use black concrete for all of it, alternatively, you could use black concrete instead of wall and use block of coal instead of the black concrete. That's also an alternative. And I'll show you in a bit what that looks like. So again, that's just marking out. We don't have to worry about it for now. We'll come back to that later on in the video. And for now, we're just going to continue with the body. So continue with the body. We're going to go to the second layer, and this is where inventory management already becomes a bit of a pain because we're going to have to grab some of the wood blocks. So, the next layer is one spruce plank, one brown terracotta. We need our grey wool back. We place four grey wool, one brown terracotta, and one spruce plank. So that is the second layer. The third layer, we're going to need our green terracotta. We place one spruce plank, one green terracotta, one grey wool. We're also going to need our black wool. Again, inventory management, a bit of a, bit of a pain. One black wool, two grey wool, one brown terracotta, and one spruce plank. So that is the third layer. Again, just give you guys a second to do that. Whilst I do that, I'm also going to swap out the green terracotta for green wool because we need that for the fourth layer. So for the fourth layer, we're going to do one spruce plank, one green wool, one grey wool, one black wool, one grey wool, one grey terracotta, one brown terracotta, and one spruce plank. So again, that's the fourth layer. Just give you guys a second to pause and catch up if you need to do so. And I'm also then going to swap the green wool back with the green terracotta. You're going to see a slight pattern here. So the fifth layer is as following, we're going to do one green terracotta, one brown terracotta, three grey wool, one grey terracotta, one green terracotta, and one spruce plank. So that is the fifth layer. Again, fifth layer uh, of one to five so far, just under the halfway point. 
Talking of the halfway point, we're going to grab ourselves our Prismarine now, our Dark Prismarine to be more specific. So for the Sick Flare, which is the halfway point, we're going to do one Dark Prismarine. Then we need to grab our green back. So we're going to place one green, two gray wool, two black wool, one brown terracotta, and one green terracotta. So that is the sick flyer. So again, going to give you guys an opportunity to pause here, and uh, then we'll continue. Okie dokie. So the next layer, which is the seventh layer, is as following. We're going to place one green terracotta, one brown terracotta, one grey wool, three black wool, one prismarine, or dark prismarine, should I say. So let me grab that. One dark prismarine, and one green wool. So again, <laughs> inventory management being a bit of a pain. There we go. So that is the seventh layer. The eighth layer is one spruce plank, one brown terracotta, four grey concrete, one brown terracotta, and one green terracotta. So a nice and easy layer, and that is our eighth layer. The ninth layer is as following. One green terracotta, one green wool, four grey wool, one brown terracotta, and one green terracotta. Again, backing up so you can see. That's what it looks like. And that is our ninth layer. Our tenth layer is one dark prismarine, one brown terracotta, four grey wool, one brown terracotta, and one spruce plank. Let me grab the spruce plank. There we go. And again, one spruce plank. So that is our tenth layer. Our eleventh layer, our second to last layer, is one spruce plank, one brown terracotta, four grey concrete, one brown terracotta, and one spruce plank. And then our twelfth and final layer is two spruce planks, four oak planks, and two spruce planks. And again, that is our twelfth and final layer, and the body should look like this. So, in regards to the 3D effects I mentioned before, we're going to add them to the top and right, uh, top left and top right corner. So, we're going to come to the left side first, and we're going to start off in the top left corner by placing one spruce plank. To write this, we place one grey terracotta. We're going to leave a full block gap so the oak wood is visible, and we're going to place one grey terracotta and one spruce plank. So, so far, two blocks on the left, two blocks on the right. Now, underneath the grey terracotta, we're going to place two brown terracotta. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and grab ourselves our spruce wood stairs. And coming off the side of this brown terracotta and underneath the spruce, we're going to place an upside down spruce stair facing towards the left and an upside down spruce stair facing towards the right on the um, matching side. So left side facing left, right side facing right. It's as simple as that. It's just a small little 3D effect act as almost like a collar um, of the jacket. And once you've done that, that is the front side of the body complete. Again, that should be a 12 by 8, and it should look like this. And right now, you should also have something that looks like this. It's 24 tall, 8 blocks wide, 16 if you're including the arms. Of course, we haven't actually built the arms yet, but if you've got the markers, it'll be 16 wide. Speaking of the arms, that's what we're going to work on now. So let's get straight on into it without any more uh, time wasting. So, for the arms... The arms are 12 tall and 4 wide, as I mentioned before, and the left side and the right side are different, so bear that in mind. We're going to be working on the left side first, so we're going to start off with the first few layers, which we're going to need, again, a little inventory cleanup. The first few blocks you're going to need is the black wall and your black concrete. So, you come to the 13th layer of the build, if you haven't already, you're going to go 4 blocks to the left, the first block being black concrete, and then 3 black wall. The second layer is going to be 2 black wall, and two black concrete. And the third layer is going to be four black wool. So that's the first three layers complete. Now to cap it off, we're going to do a layer of four black terracotta. So that's the fourth layer. And from now on, it's kind of the jacket pattern, which is majority spruce planks. So we're going to grab our spruce planks back. The fifth layer is 
three spruce planks and one brown terracotta. And the sixth layer is the same as the fourth, which is four black terracotta. The seventh layer is three spruce planks and one brown terracotta. And we're going to repeat this again for the eighth layer. So again, two layers of three spruce and one brown terracotta. For the next layer, we're going to need our green terracotta. So we're going to do one spruce, two green, and one brown, all being out of terracotta. And that is our ninth layer. Our tenth layer is three spruce planks and one brown terracotta. The eleventh layer, aka the second to last layer, is going to be three spruce and one brown. And then the final layer, we're going to need our dark prismarine. We're going to do one spruce, one dark prismarine, one green, and one spruce. Once you've done that, you have got yourselves your left arm. And again, that is 12 by 4, 12 tall, 4 wide. Once again, the right side is slightly different, so uh, don't rush over to that yet. We'll go through it step by step in a second. Again, please do take the opportunity to pause the video if you feel it's necessary. If not, that's cool. But again, don't rush through the video because it's better to get to the end and realize you've taken a bit longer, but you've done it right, than get to the end and realize you messed up five minutes in and have to tear it down because that really is the saddest thing, to be honest. Anyways, moving on over to the right side. Again, you come to the 13th layer of the build. Four blocks to the right, one block being black concrete, three being black wall. Second layer is going to be two black concrete, two black wall, and the third layer is four black wall. So very sim uh, similar to the other side for now. The fourth layer is going to be four black terracotta. So again, capping on off. Now this is where things change slightly after this next two layers. So we're going to do one brown terracotta and three spruce. And we're going to cap it off with the next layer of four black terracotta. So right now, that's the first six layers. Now, we're going to grab ourselves some oak planks. For the seventh layer, we're going to do one brown terracotta, three oak planks. So again, that is our seventh layer. Our eighth layer is one brown, one dark prismarine, one oak, and one spruce. And that's our eighth layer. Our ninth layer is as following. One brown terracotta, one green terracotta, one oak plank, and one spruce plank. The next layer we're going to do is one brown terracotta, three spruce planks, and we're going to repeat this again. So three spruce planks and one brown terracotta, and that's for our 10th and 11th layers. Our 12th layer is going to be four spruce planks. Simple as that. Caps it off and brings us right up to the top, and that is the right arm. Again, 12 by 4 and it's different to the left side, as you can see in a few different places. Apart from that, again, definitely recommend you pause the video here, get up to this point, and right now, if you back up, you should have something that looks like this. This is the front side of the legs and the front side of the body complete. So again, hopefully you have something like this. If you don't, go back in the video. If you do, let's move on and start building the sides of the body and actually turning this into a statue. So, in terms of the sides, we're going to come to the left side of the leg first, we'll work on this. We're going to grab ourselves our grey terracotta, and we come down to this first block here. Bear in mind this is a 3D effect, so we're going to ignore this. We start on this block here. We're going to count 1, 2, 3 to the left using grey terracotta, because bear in mind, the side of the legs is going to be 12 by 4, 12 tall, 4 wide. However, and this is a big however, the fourth block is already here. This is the fourth block. This first block on the front side is the fourth block on the left side. So that's done. What that means is we're only placing three blocks per layer because we're adding the one onto the three we're placing, and that's four. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, could probably explain it a bit more simple, but three plus one equals four. That's about as simple as it gets, I guess. So, anyways, continuing. The first layer, again, we're going to be placing three grey terracotta. The second and third layer, we're going to place three brown terracotta. The fourth layer, we're going to grab ourselves our cyan terracotta and our stone. And we're going to go ahead and place three cyan terracotta, so that's the fourth layer. The fifth layer is free stone, and the sixth layer is free cyan terracotta. So a very simple kind of line pattern at the moment. The next layer, which is the seventh layer, is going to be free stone. Same with the eighth layer, and same with the ninth layer. So the next three layers are stone. 
The tenth layer is going to be one stone, two cyan. Next layer, we're going to need our grey wool. So the eleventh layer, second to last layer, we're going to place it as one stone, two grey wool. And then the third and final layer is going to be three of the third and final layer. The twelfth and final layer is going to be three blocks of brown. I've got the number three in my head and uh, saying it randomly now. So that is the left side of the leg. Again, that is a 12 by 4, 12 tall, 4 wide, and from a side angle, it looks like this. Now, the good news is the right side is very, very similar, the one exception being this one block here. So if you want to copy it over, minus that block, that block on this side is, of course, stone. You're more than welcome. However, I am going to go over it nevertheless. So, coming around to the right side, same procedure applies. We come to the second block here because this is a 3D effect. We're going to count 1, 2, 3 to the right using grey terracotta. The second and third layer is going to be free brown terracotta and the fourth layer is free cyan. The fifth layer is free stone. The sixth layer is free cyan. And on top of that we do three layers of stone. One, two, three. There we go. So that is, I know I've kind of rushed through that a bit but it's very simple. Exact same as the other side. The next layer which is the tenth layer, just like on the other side, is two cyan, one stone. The eleventh layer is two grey, one stone. And the 12th layer is 3 brown, just to cap it off. And again, that is a 12 by 4 looks like this, and from a side angle, like this. Now, of course, if that was a bit too fast for you, just pause the video here. Again, it's pretty self-explanatory. And, yeah, that is the right side of the leg complete. Now, what we're going to do for the arms, because it's slightly different for the arms, we need to build the under platform first, before we can actually build the arms itself. We're going to come around to the rear side of the statue. We're going to come to the bottom layer of the arms, so this one here, and we're going to expand backwards, one, two, three, using black wool, and we're going to do this all the way across. And what this gives you is a 4x4 four four platform, as you can see right here, that looks something like this. Now we're going to head over to the other side and do the exact same, and then what we're going to do is actually indeed punch a few blocks out to create a pattern. So the left side, again, 4x4, four four, and the right side, 4x4. Four four. So that's a basic pattern. What we're then going to do is behind this black concrete here, we're going to punch out one, two, three. And we're going to replace it with black concrete. And we do the exact same on this side. So one, two, three behind the black concrete. Replace it with three black concrete. So we now have a stripe of black concrete. And then three layers of black wall. What we're then going to do is if we go back around to the front side. On the third block in. So we're going to count one, two. And on the third block we're going to punch one, two, three to the right. And replace with three black concrete. So this is the underside of the right hand. And if we go to the left arm. We're going to count from the front side. One, two. 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3 to the left, and replace like so. So it gives you kind of like an offset T shape, so from a side on, it would look like a T, as you can see like that. Um, but yeah, that's just a small little detail, so it means that the black concrete from the front doesn't go um, into nothing, and it kind of blends with a block we're going to have at the side. But we'll talk about that in a second. most important thing is you have a pattern that looks like this from a 4x4, four four, and same on the right side. Once you've got that, that also means we can now start working on the sides of the arms because we have a platform. The important thing is to have that done, otherwise there will of course be sides or holes in the sides of the hands and it wouldn't be ideal. Anyways, in terms of the actual side of the arms themselves, very very simple. So we're going to start off on the left side and of course just like the legs, the fourth layer is already done. So that means we're placing 3 blocks per layer, 12, blocks in, or 12 layers in total. So the first layer is already done, that consists of 1 black wall, 1 black concrete and 2 black wall. The second layer is one black wall, one black concrete, one black wall, and the third layer is going to be three black wall. The fourth layer is three black terracotta. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our spruce planks. So for the fifth layer, we do three spruce planks. Sixth layer is three black terracotta, and then the remaining layers is simply three spruce planks. We do that all the way up to the top. So in total, that is one, two, three, four, five, six layers. So again, once you've done that, it should look like that. That is a 12 by 4. The first three layers are black, warm, black concrete. The fourth layer is black terracotta. Fifth layer is spruce. Sixth layer is black concrete. And then the remaining six are spruce. Once again, that is 12 by 4. 12 tall, 4 wide. And from a side angle, it looks like this. And again, if you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. Heading around to the right side. Very, very similar, with the exception of one layer. So the first layer, again, is two black wool. One black concrete, one black wall. Second layer is going to be one black wall, one black concrete, one black wall. And the third layer is going to be three black wall. 
The fourth layer we place is free black terracotta. The fifth layer is going to be free spruce. And the sixth layer is going to be free black terracotta. So, so far, already halfway there. This is the one exception. So on this side, we're going to place a layer of oak planks. So three oak planks. And instead of six layers of spruce, we have five layers of spruce. So that's a one small difference. But again, it is a difference. And if you don't do it correctly, you will have something that looks like this. Where you have one block gap at the end. And it's not ideal. So uh, make sure you have the layer of oak. And again, that is the seventh layer. The oak layer. Uh, oak layer. Again, 12 by 4. Side on looks like this. And that is the sides of the arms complete. Once you've done that, we are now ready to move on to the rear side of the statue. If you come around to the rear, you'll see it's uh, it's a bit empty, not much going on. And that's what we're going to work on now, getting it nice and finished. So the rear side of the leg, starting off with, is 12 by 8 just like the front side. However, the exception this time is the left side and the right side are already done, which means two layers are done. So if you minus two away from what we had to do before, that means we're only placing six blocks per layer. This is some really intense mass right there. So the first layer is two gray terracotta, two black terracotta, and two gray. Again, should link left to right nicely like so. The second and third layer is going to be two brown, two black, two brown. And again, we repeat this for the third layer. So two brown, two black, two brown. And that is the third and second layer. The next layer we're going to need to grab ourselves our grey concrete and our cyan terracotta. We'll also grab our stone whilst we're at it. So the next layer, which is the fourth layer, is going to be two cyan, two grey, two cyan. So that's our fourth layer. The fifth layer is going to be two stone, two grey, two stone. That's our sixth layer. Oh, sorry, our fifth layer. <laughs> Getting a bit carried away here. The actual sixth layer is going to be two cyan, two grey, two cyan. So again, that is our sixth layer, halfway point. The next four layers are going to be two stone, two grey, two stone. So again, we repeat this three more times. So that's two stone, two grey concrete, two stone. And that brings you up to the tenth layer. The eleventh layer is as following. One stone, one cyan, two grey, one cyan, one stone. And then the 12th and final layer is going to be six blocks of brown terracotta. Once you've got that, that is a 12 by 8, as you can see right here. If you want to pause, again, you're more than welcome to do so. And what some of you may have noticed is it's extremely plain. But again, that's because it's the rear side of the statue. So it's not quite as important. If you want to add some detail, you're more than welcome to. But I went ahead and removed a bunch because, again, it's just making it more complicated than it necessarily needs to be. In regards to the rear side of the body, however, we do, of course, have some detail because it is a major part and it will catch the attention first. So we'll go over that. We're going to start off at the bottom left corner again, starting off with our first layer, which is going to be one grey terracotta. Then we're going to need our spruce. So we do two spruce, two brown uh, ter uh, terracotta. I was about to say concrete. No, it is indeed terracotta. Two uh, spruce and one brown terracotta. The next layer, which is the second layer, is three spruce planks, one grey terracotta. We're going to need our green terracotta. So we place one green terracotta, two spruce, and one grey. So that is the second layer. The third layer is three spruce, one green, and four spruce. And on top of this, we're going to place three layers of eight spruce. So that's the first three layers. The fourth, fifth, and sixth layers are all eight blocks of spruce. So again, just to repeat that, the fourth, fifth, and sixth layers are all solid spruce. The seventh layer is three spruce, three brown terracotta, two spruce. The next layer is one spruce. One green terracotta, four black terracotta, whoops, I'm placing oak planks, four black terracotta, two spruce planks. The next layer we're going to place is one spruce plank, one green terracotta, and six spruce planks. On top of that, we're going to place two spruce. We need ourselves our dark prismarine, one dark prismarine. 
and five spruce, and that is our tenth flare. The eleventh flare is the exact same, but instead of prismarine, we're going to place our green terracotta. So we place one green terracotta after the two spruce, and then we're going to place five more spruce. And then the final layer, the twelfth layer, is going to be eight blocks of spruce. Again, once you've done that, that is a 12 by 8. Again, starting from this block down here, this grey terracotta, right on up to the spruce up there. That's a 12 by 8, and that is the rear side of the body. Again, not as much detail as the front side, but of course it's not as much of a centre point. Still a bit, just to make it a bit more attractive and a bit more interesting. Now, in terms of the rear side of the arms, we're going to start with the left side first. So this is the rear of the right arm. Just like before, with the other sides, it's a 12 by 4 however, the 4th block's done, so we're going to be placing 3 blocks per layer. Again, similar to what we were doing before with the side of our legs. So, the first layer is of course the 3 black wall, 1 black concrete. Second layer we're going to place is 1 black wall and 2 black concrete. Third layer we're going to place is 3 black wall. And on top of that we're going to cap it off with 3 black terracotta. On top of that we're going to place 2 spruce and one brown terracotta, so that's the first five layers. The sixth layer, we're going to cap it off with three black terracotta. The next layer, which is the seventh layer, is going to be one oak, and one spruce, and one brown terracotta. And then on top of this, we're going to do another four layers of two spruce, one brown. So again, one, two, three, four, and that's two spruce, one brown. So from left to right, Two spruce planks, one brown. And then the final layer, the 12th layer, is going to be three blocks of spruce planks. So that's the rear side of the right arm. In this case, it's our left side. Again, that is 12 by 4. And if you want to pause, you're more than welcome to do so. In regards to the other side, which is the rear of the left arm, just like before, again, we've got the similar pattern, 12 by 4, fourth block already done. For the first layer, We've got one black concrete, three black wall. Second layer is going to be two black concrete, one black wall. Third layer is going to be three black wall. And the fourth layer is going to be three black terracotta. On top of that, we're going to place one brown terracotta and two spruce. And for our sixth layer, we're going to place three black terracotta. For the next five layers, we're going to place one brown, two spruce. So again, we repeat this four more times. One, two, three, four. And that's one brown and two spruce. And for the final layer, just like the other side, we're going to place three brown, uh, sorry, three spruce planks, and that will wrap it up. And that is the rear side of the body complete. Again, I, I feel like I'm saying this a lot, but if you want to pause, please do so now. Now, in regards to the final side of the body, before we're ready to move on, which is the shoulders, go ahead and fill this whole area in, which is a 16 by 4 area, or the gap itself should be a 14 by 2 area in with spruce planks, and it will give you something that looks like this. Most of it doesn't really matter. All you want to make sure is that the 4 by 4s on either side are completely filled in, because that will be visible, but the rest, however, won't be, because it will be covered by the head. Apart from that, right now you have yourselves the body, that is the body of the statue complete. The final additions we're going to add before moving on to the actual head is of course the machete, because of course it wouldn't be a Jason Voorhees statue without a machete. So, we're going to come around to the rear side of the statue, we're going to come around to the rear of the left arm, in this case it's our right side. Come to the bottom left corner, go up one and to right one, and behind this black concrete place two grey concrete, or two grey Cyan, Terracotta, either one works, whichever whichever one you like better. Personally, on reflection, I'm going to use Cyan, Terracotta. Then, come around to the front side, and again, still sticking with the left arm, what we're going to do is come to this black concrete right here. So, we go to the bottom left corner, go up one, and to the third block, so it's this block right here. We're going to extend it forwards, nine blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're then going to grab ourselves our red terracotta. We place one red and then two more cyan. So it's now a row of 12. What we're then going to do is go back to the start and we're going to count one, two, three. And on the fourth block, we're going to start and we're going to place five cyan, one red wall. So it should be diagonal from the red terracotta and two cyan. 
So right now you should have a shape that looks like this. Now to really add the points to this, because of course it is a machete, we're going to on the very end place on the upper row one stone brick slab on the upper half and on the lower one we're also going to place a stone brick slab on the upper half that looks like this. Now to add a bit more curve to the rear of the sword or the rear of the knife we're going to grab ourselves a stone brick stair we're going to come to the side of it and we're going to place an upside down stone brick stair facing towards the side of the arm and it ends up looking like this of course it's not the best but it's uh, it's kind of difficult to build a curved sword or a curved knife like a machete when you're building with blocks which are of course blocky um, but if you feel you can do better you're more than welcome to give it a try apart from that you're also more than welcome to put it on the other arm if you want to all the reference images I saw were him holding it in the left hand hence why I've done that um, but yeah apart from that you are more than welcome to play around with it but that's the body of the statue complete so before we move on what I'm gonna do is a quick spin around um, just make sure that everyone is up to the same point and then we'll move on to the head and uh, start making some progress there so what we're gonna do for this spin around and again if you're more than confident you're ready to go just skip the video um, we're gonna come to specific parts of the statue so for example right now I'm at the front side of the legs I'm gonna list off the measurements so that's 12 by 8 I'm also gonna give you guys an opportunity to pause I'm not gonna say that every time because it's just annoying but please do take the opportunities that's like the final opportunity really you're gonna get in the videos so it wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be very smart not to take it but anyways let's begin so this is the front side of the legs that's a 12 by 8 there is 3d effects at the bottom as you saw moving on up we have the front side of the body that is again 12 by 8 and has 3d effects in the top left and top right corner the left side and the right side of the arm is 12 by 4 both ones slightly different so bear that in mind Coming around to the left side of the leg, that is a 12x4, with the underside of the hand, which is a 4x4, and the left side of the arm, which is again a 12x4. Coming around to the right side, with the right side of the leg, which is a 12x4, the underside of the hand, which is a 4x4, and the right side of the arm, which is a 12x4. Slightly different to the other side, bear that in mind, with the oak stripe. Coming around to the rear side, we have the rear side of the leg, that is 12x8. The rear side of the body, 12 by 8, and the rear side of each arm, 12 by 4. And we have the shoulders, which are 16 by 4. The final point, which is the machete. The top layer is 9 cyan, 1 red, 2 cyan. And the bottom layer is a 2 block gap, an upside down stone stair, 5 cyan, 1 red wall, 2 cyan. And then each one has a stone brick slab at the end on the upper point. Now again, I'm not sure which hand it goes in. Some of the reference images showed it in either, so I'm going to put it in that hand. But again, it's up to you. On the rear side, just make it look like it's actually gripping on something. You have the two blocks coming out the back, like so. Make sure again that's in line with each other, otherwise it looks a bit weird. But apart from that, that is the body of the statue complete, and we're now ready to move on to the head. So, the head itself, again, is uh, rather difficult. What we're going to start off by doing is grabbing a few blocks into our inventory. So we're going to start off by coming to the front side of the statue. And we're going to come to the front left corner. From here, we're going to count one, two, three, four, And on the fifth block, right here, we're going to grab ourselves our oak planks. We're going to place one oak plank, bring it one block forwards, and then leave it. We're going to do this on the right side, so we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and on the 5th block, place an oak plank, bring it 1 forwards, and then again, leave it. Now, in this block here, next to it, we're going to grab ourselves our birch planks, we're going to place in between, so there's a 6 block gap in between, 1 birch plank, 4 smooth sandstone, and 1 birch plank. So now, you have a 1 block overhang that's 8 blocks wide. We're going to double this overhang. And the way we're going to do this is by leaving one block gap in front of this oak plank here. In front of the spruce, or sorry, not the spruce, the birch, we're going to place one birch, one smooth sandstone, leave a two block gap, one smooth sandstone, one birch, and leave a one block gap. Now in these gaps, we're going to grab our sandstone stairs. On the left side, we're going to place an upside down sandstone stair facing towards the left. 
on the right side we face an upside down one facing towards the right and in the middle we place two normal ones on the left side we're going to place one facing towards the left and on the right we're going to place one facing towards the right and it ends up looking something like this so for now we have an 8x2 overhang and it looks like this what we're then going to do is come around to the side and we're going to expand the oak planks backwards we're going to expand it five blocks backwards to be more specific so that's one two three four five and same with this side one two three four five go ahead and link them in the middle there should be a six block gap so it's a six by two of oak planks and once you've done that you have an eight by eight square this is our template for the head because of course the head is an eight by eight by eight cube so by having an 8 by 8 square, it's kind of marking out all the measurements. So we've got the front side, which is the face, the left side, the right side, and the rear side. We're going to start off with the face first, get that out of the way. Now the face is conformed of two different layers. And the reason behind that is because, of course, Jason Voorhees is wearing a mask. So we're going to build the actual face itself first, and then we'll worry about the mask afterwards. Warning, the face itself does look very creepy and uh, not very nice looking. So uh, bear that in mind. So... Where we're going to build the face, we're going to build it on the first layer. So it's this one here, the first block of the, of the overhang, not the second block. So we're starting on top of this first oak plank here. We're going to place two oak planks. We're then going to grab ourselves our spruce. We place four spruce and two oak planks. And again, just in perspective of where it is, it's one block behind where these sandstone stairs are. The third layer, again, starting from the left side, we're going to place one jungle plank, one spruce plank, four oak planks, one spruce, and one jungle. The next layer, which is the fourth layer, is one jungle, two spruce, two oak, two spruce, one jungle. So that's the fourth layer. The fifth layer, we're going to need some coal. So we're going to place one coal. We're also going to need some white wool, so uh, let's grab that. One white wool, one black terracotta, two spruce, one black terracotta, one white wool, and one block of coal. The next layer, we're going to need our dark oak planks. Starting off on the left side, we're going to place one oak, two dark oak, two oak, two dark oak, and one oak. So that is the sixth layer. The seventh layer, the second to last layer, is two oak, four spruce, and two oak. And then the eighth and final layer is going to be two oak, one jungle, two coal, one jungle, and two oak. So that is our 8x8, and that is the face without the mask. Now, of course, we don't really know what the face looks like without the mask, or at least I don't think we know. Uh, but this is the main the main kind of focus is the eyes. Now, the reason I did that is because, of course, some of it will be visible through the mask. Otherwise, we could have just placed a few blocks behind the mask. But it's just easier and more simple to explain if we actually build the face itself. Now, again, it's lacking a lot of features because we don't actually need to do it. Um, because what we're going to do now is cover up a lot of it with the mask. So again, just for perspective, this should be the first block of the overhang, and the second block of the overhang is going to be the mask we're adding right now. So for the first layer of the mask, we've got our sandstone stair, we've got the birch plank, smooth sandstone, two stairs, smooth sandstone, birch plank, smooth uh, sandstone stair. The second layer is as following, three smooth sandstone, we're then going to grab ourselves our sandstone stairs again, we're going to place a sandstone stair towards the left, and one to the right. And then free smooth sandstone. So that is the second layer. The third layer is one smooth sandstone. We're then going to place a stair facing towards the left. Four smooth sandstone. Stair facing towards the right. And one smooth sandstone. The fourth layer is a sandstone stair upside down facing towards the right. We're then going to grab ourselves our sandstone slab, and we're going to place two slabs on the lower half of the block. So we want the two halves of the spruce still visible. We're then going to place two smooth sandstone, two slabs again on the lower half, and then an upside down stair facing towards the left side. So right now it should look like this. The next half, which is the upper half, we're going to extend this one block of coal forwards on either side. 
And in front of these two sprues in the middle, we're going to place two smooth sandstone. Again, we want the eyes to be visible. On top of this, for the next layer, which is the sick layer, on top of the coal, we're going to place one smooth sandstone. And then to the right of that, we place two slabs on the upper half of the block. Next to that, we place two smooth sandstone. And then we're going to place two more sandstone slabs, again, on the upper half. If you place it on the lower half, it will look like this, and it doesn't have the same effect. So place it on the upper half. And then to cap it off, we're going to place one smooth sandstone. That's the sick flare. The seventh flare we're going to place is three smooth sandstone. We're going to place an upside down sandstone stair towards the left and one to the right. And then we're going to place two smooth sandstone. Or sorry, three smooth sandstone. And then for the final layer, which is the eighth layer, we're going to do a sandstone stair towards the left, a smooth sandstone, an upside down sandstone stair towards the left, two coal, an upside down stair towards the right, smooth sandstone, and a normal facing stair towards the right. And it ends up looking like this. Now, what we're going to do is add a few more effects. So the first thing we're going to do is on top of each of the coal, so there's four blocks in total, we're going to place a stone button. So that's four blocks again, that's four buttons in total. Once you've done that, you can get rid of the button. Simple as that. The next thing we're going to do, and this is a slight variation that I've done towards Kite Man's design. Originally he used, I believe it was Neverbrick, or uh, Neverbrick stairs, to do the masks, or the red part of the mask. I'm going to use red terracotta. Again, it doesn't look as detailed or as technical but it's just a bit more obvious and it makes it a bit more identifiable who the mask belongs to so we're going to come to the third layer third block from left we're going to place a red terracotta again as a 3d effect we leave a two block gap and then place another one so that's the first two points the next part which is kind of like the middle part at the top we're going to come to the seventh layer so second to last layer we come to the third block and the sixth block and place one and in between them, we're going to go, not this one, we're going to go down one. So two blocks of smooth sandstone here, and it ends up making a shape that looks like that. Once you've done that, that is the front side of the face complete. Please do feel free to pause. And uh, yeah, that is the front side of the mask. So again, I'll give you guys a second just to look at it and uh, make sure everything's all good. Again, the stairs make it a bit more complicated, but add a lot more detail to it and make it work really really awesome so again key features now now the front side is done we've also got to do the other sides of course and you would hope they're plain and they could be if you wanted to but instead i've decided to keep them relatively complicated because of the detail now if you want to keep it nice and simple feel free to just use mainly oak planks and whenever i say to use the other woods just ignore it but if you want to make it 100 percent accurate to this and you want to make it super super detailed feel free to copy what I'm doing. So, starting round at the left side, we're going to come to the first block on the left, and we're going to replace that oak with a spruce. So that's the first layer. First layer is one spruce, six oak, and one sandstone. Now the first two blocks are already done, so that means we're only placing six blocks per layer, but it's still relatively complicated, so do listen up. Okie dokie. So, the second layer is going to be two oak planks, one red wall, and three oak planks. The third layer is one oak plank, one red terracotta, one never brick, one jungle plank, one brown terracotta, and one spruce plank. So that's the third layer. The fourth layer is one jungle plank, two oak, one jungle plank, a second jungle plank, and one oak. So that's the fourth layer. The fifth layer is three coal, one cyan terracotta, one oak plank, and one jungle plank. Now, on these two blocks here, we're going to bring this forwards one as a 3D effect. So we place one oak, one jungle, and then underneath that jungle, we place one oak, and to the left of that one jungle. So we have a two by two. And that's going to represent the ear. That's a little 3D effect. But again, it's saying we might as well get out of the way whilst we're here. For the next layer, which is the sick flare, we're going to place one oak, one red wall, four oak. Second to last layer, the seventh layer, is one oak, one red terracotta, 
one nether brick, one oak, one spruce, and one oak. And then the eighth and final layer is going to be four oak, one brown terracotta, and one spruce. So that is the left side of the head complete. Again, really, really detailed. If you want to simplify it a bit, you're more than welcome to do so. Again, brief second to pause, then I'm going to head around to the right side. I don't want to waste any more of your time because I appreciate the video starting to drag on just a tad. So, coming around to the right side. Exact same logic applies. Go to the last block on the first layer, change it to spruce. First two blocks of every layer is done, so let's begin. The second layer is going to be, from left to right, two oak planks, one never brick, and three oak planks. Bear in mind it is different to the other side. The next layer is going to be one spruce, one brown terracotta, one red terracotta, one never brick, and two oak planks. So that's the third layer. The fourth layer is one oak, three jungle, one oak, one jungle. And the next layer is one jungle, one oak, one cyan terracotta, and three blocks of coal. Whoops. Try not to do what I'm doing here, which is uh, place it really, really badly. There we go. So that is the fifth layer. The sixth layer is three oak, one red terracotta, and one oak. And uh, almost forgot it there, but what we're going to do on this layer, the previous one, is make this jungle and oak 3D, and then underneath that the jungle and oak again, and that's going to be the ear on this side. Second to last layer, the seventh layer, is going to be one red terracotta, two oak planks, one red wall, one oak plank, and one brown terracotta. And then the final layer, which is the eighth layer, is as following. That's one oak, one red wall, one red terracotta, one never brick, and two oak planks. And that is the right side of the head complete. Again, brief second to pause if you need to, and then we're going to head around to the rear side. Coming around to the rear side, we're going to start off by punching out the first layer and replacing it with six spruce planks. Now, just like before, again, we had this with the legs. We have the left side and we have the right side, and it's an eight by eight in total. So we're going to be placing six blocks per layer, mainly linking left to right. So the first layer again is six spruce, the second layer is six oak planks. The third layer is three oak planks, one spruce, and two oak planks. The fourth layer is one never brick, two jungle, one brown terracotta, one spruce, and one jungle. And that is the fourth layer. The fifth layer is two coal, two sound terracotta, and two coal. And again, this is like the straps for the mask. The next layer, which is the sixth layer, is going to be one red terracotta, one jungle, two coal, one jungle, and one oak. Seventh layer, second to last layer, is going to be one spruce, one red terracotta, two coal, one jungle, and one oak. And then the eighth and final layer is going to be one oak, one jungle, two coal, one jungle, and one oak. And that is the rear side of the head. Again, that's an 8 by 8 square. And that leaves us with one final side, which is, of course, the top side of the head, which should currently look like this. And what we're going to start off by doing is in the middle, in between the two areas of coal, we're going to fill it completely with coal. So you now have a solid strip of coal going through the middle and that leaves us with two sections the left side and the right side starting with the left side we're gonna at the back corner place one spruce and one brown terracotta on the other side we place one brown terracotta and one spruce the next layer we place one oak one spruce two block gap and then we place jungle and oak the next layer is one oak one jungle, and the other side's one jungle, one oak. Second to last there is one spruce, one jungle, and then on the other side, one jungle, one oak. And then the final layer to wrap up the video is one oak, one jungle, and on this side, one jungle, one oak. 
Once you've done that, that is the top side of the head. Looks like that. And again, very detailed. But again, it's just kind of fitting in with the rest of the statue really, isn't it? Apart from that, that is the statue complete. And uh, yeah, really do hope you enjoyed. I'm going to get rid of my arm and spin around the head one last time. Just so you can pause if you need to whilst I ramble a bit. So again, if you did enjoy the video, a like would be very much appreciated. If you haven't already as well, definitely consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. So you actually get notified when I upload. That's a really... Uh, handy feature I guess. Um, alternatively, if you don't want to rely on YouTube, and frankly I don't blame you, follow me on Twitter at Gummy Bear Games. Uh, again, links in the description and I tweet every time I'm posting a video. Also, listen to your suggestions on there a lot more because it's a lot easier to kind of get your feedback. It doesn't flag comments and stuff like that. So it's a bit more ideal for that kind of thing. So again, that's at Gummy Bear Games if you want to follow me on Twitter. But most of all, again, just subscribe to the channel and stay tuned really. Apart from that, as well, if you have any suggestions, please do not hesitate to let me know down in the comment section below as well if you struggle at all let me know what you struggled with and i'll try and fix it for future videos or alternatively offer you more uh additional support i guess you could say apart from that again huge credit and thanks to kite man or diamond for the awesome awesome design also got a michael myers statue that he did coming up in the very near future so stay tuned for that and also we'll be trying to get back into some it or it uh statues with the pennywise theme so we've got georgie potentially coming up as well Apart from that, again, I feel like uh, I, I keep on saying apart from that. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, my name has been Tom Goey, and goodbye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Because you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light